sorry, but I need to know who took my pen. Uh, sorry, I, I don't see it. Yeah, sorry, Annie. No! Not sorry, Annie. We passed sorry, Annie eight pens ago. I keep bringing pens, and you guys keep taking them, and I'm afraid I am putting my foot down. Okay. Well, now, Annie has made it clear that this is an issue, so from now on, we need to be more respectful of her things. Okay? Okay. Cool. Okay. Guys, this is important to Annie. Mm -hmm. So whoever actually died a few months ago, fess up so we can put a stake through your heart. <laughs> yeah. right. Annie, I think the real lesson here is that a model you win, much like the real you win, quickly falls apart when faced with actual... No! I think the lesson here is that Annie is still win this! I want to win! And you, you suck your You're acting like a little schoolgirl and not in a hot way. Okay, uh, that made me sound creepy. I, I, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Jeff Winger, will you marry me? Yeah, yeah, of course. No problem. No problem. Perfect, I'll be right back. your souls ever since you had premarital sex on the table. Oh! Oh! Awesome! You told Shirley? Well, there's no need for secrecy now. It was during the paintball game. Was there anything you didn't win that day? Oh my god! You slept with her and then kissed me? What? And now, the last award of the night. Most likely to succeed. Okay. This has to go to me, because I am the most likely to succeed. It's just fact. You just know. And the winner is... Troy Farns! <laughs> you have got to be kidding me, Troy Farns! Most likely to succeed? I'm the damn valedictorian and head of student council and president of Campus Crusade for Christ, and I'm Jewish! And you are just some mindless robot! You just Go wherever they tell you to run. I'm, I'm sorry. Do you go to my school? <laughs> oh my God, you guys, we've been robbed. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe we got robbed. So. This is the last chance for the cheater to be an adult and face la musica or everyone fails. No! You've got 10 seconds, starting now. No! I've never gotten a zero before. Two penises! Oh, this is like a gay! It's so gay! Ah. Pierce! What? Sit down! Uh, we'll take it from here. Jeff, where were you last night? At a bar. Called it. Who can confirm that? Your mama. What? Well, I mean. Oh! oh. oh. What the hell, Annie? Her name's not Annie, it's Psycho. And if I were you, I'd tell her what she wants to hear. That's right. Because if I have to hand you off to Shirley, you're gonna enter a kitchen of pain. Uh, Guys, stop it! Fortunately for you, I'm a big believer in second chances. I'm not. Annie! Annie! Oh my God, you, you shot him! Of course I shot him. He was being dishonest. And if there's one thing Greendale's taught me, Whoa, what the hell? She had a gun! It was a fake gun. We staged this to get back at you for deceiving us. Well, you're the deceiver, Jeffrey. Yeah? Well, now you're the dead guy. Jeff, what are you doing? Why do you have a real gun? Why did you shoot the Dean? Well, he shot you. Not really. He and I were in on this from the start. 
when he found out you were faking a class, he came to me and we cooked up this whole conspiracy thing to, to illustrate the slippery slope of academic fraud. You know what you actually illustrated, Annie? <laughs> How to be a crappy friend. Once it was obvious the dean had orchestrated everything, it was even more obvious the dean was too stupid to orchestrate anything. Mm-hmm. So on a hunch, I called him and we hatched a plan to teach you a lesson or two about friendship. But Jeff, I only did it because I love you. Well, when you love someone, you have to take them as they are. People aren't playthings, Annie. No, they are not. Oh, look who's talking. After everything you put me through. Okay. Where did you get that gun? There are only three prop guns. Yeah, well, I live in a terrible neighborhood. Annie, put the gun down. After we kissed, I waited all summer to see you. You buried me like a shameful secret. Whoa. What's the matter, Jeff? I'm afraid crazy Annie would go crazy for you. Well, guess what? Annie's got a gun. Annie, just put the gun <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. He's going off luck. Well, why is he ripping up the cards? Doesn't he need the cards? It's a gambit. him. Man is evil. Oh my god. I didn't know what to do. Oh my god. I usually have one foot out of reality and even I'm freaking out right now. You chloroformed the janitor? Stop yelling at me. You're the ones that got caught. You're the one who's yelling. We're in big trouble. We have to do I don't know what to do. My whole brain is crying. Oh, oh. Guys, 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 guys. Hey, hey, I have an idea. Okay, it may sound a little weird, but trust me. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, we all got chloroformed. Somebody chloroformed all of us. And now we're regaining consciousness together. I don't understand. Who is she? Why is she holding a rag? Okay, that was the worst idea ever. Can we please just run away now? Yeah. Yeah. But what more can we do? Would you stop? The Dean had his seventh epiphany today, which has given me an epiphany of my own. The Dean is a genius. He has to be. If he isn't, I've given almost two weeks of my life to an idiot. That is unacceptable. Therefore, the Dean is a genius, and I will die protecting his vision. Are you by any chance familiar with Stockholm Syndrome? Is it something that the Dean created? Because if not, I don't care. We all want to go, but the Dean won't let us. You see, some monsters cannot change, but others can. What is this? I'm a werewolf that feeds on selfish vampires. And she ripped into his torso 
like a gerbil shredding a Quaker Oats box, sending chunks of viscera and an aerosol mist of blood all over the skinky concubine. Then she flossed her teeth with his tendons. And because he was a vampire, he lived through all of it. He had to watch her swallow his last eyeball. She kept it attached to the optic nerve so he could see down her throat to his own partially digested flesh in her stomach. Hmm? See? There was a twist. Are you coming to my Dia de los Muertos party? I'm definitely gonna try to swing by. Oh, then I can mark you down as definitely being there from seven sharp till upside down Spanish question mark? Here's the thing. No, I... here's the thing. <laughs> I am putting my foot down, you understand? I am being assertive and I am making eye contact and it is achieving results. Are you trying to get formidable with me? worked on Pierce. Infomercials work on Pierce. Jeff, you're the cool guy, okay? If you show up, it'll be the first party I host where everyone doesn't say they need to get home in time for the news. <laughs> this won't work. The last time you did this, I saved a vial of your tears and have been slowly building up an immunity. It was so unpopular in high school. The crossing guard used to lure me into traffic. This party is a second chance to be hip, cool. Lean back! Look, I will come to your party. Thank you. I'm putting you down for two bags of ice and a sleeve of paper cups. Did you record yesterday's Spanish class? I don't think so. Abed? You said you record all your classes. Pierce called it a spoiler alert. You heard Chang tell me he was bogus and then drop the dime because you would do anything to keep this group together. Because you are insecure. Because you didn't get hot until after high school. That's true. Fine, I did it. For real, Annie? Oh, Annie. Someone make her a dude so I can punch her. Go ahead and hate me. It's better than what was going to happen. We were all gonna drift apart and you were all too cool to do anything. Maybe not too cool, maybe just, you know, not psycho enough. Yeah, a little crazy. Psycho. <sighs> now she's going to make the Disney face. Her lip is gonna quiver and her eyes will flutter, but they won't ever actually close. But do not feel sorry for her. She stole a year of our lives and we're right to be pissed. Oh, Annie. No, no. Everyone close their eyes, do it. Close them. I bet, close. Oh, don't worry about me. I can only connect with people through movies. She's the Ark of the Covenant. <gasps> you guys, I'm sorry. I only did it so that we could stay friends. Picture her as Paul Giamatti. Oh, ah! oh babies. <laughs> friends don't do what you did to us. Did the sisterhood of the traveling pants poison each other's food so they were too sick to leave? No, I've never seen it, but I'm pretty sure they mailed each other pants. I I was sorry. Who cares if you're sorry? We're still screwed. Be sorry about this stuff before you do it. Then don't do it. It's called growing up. Annie, we were still going to see each other all the time. <laughs> That's what my rehab group used to say. The only one that keeps in touch is the guy that sells jewelry made out of bottle caps. I'd hoped that this group would amount to more than passing hellos and whatever the hell this is. Nobody even think about going after her. That's what she wants, more personal drama, so we fail the exam and stay in Spanish forever. We have to beat her. Don't text her, don't call her, don't mention her. We do not need her to study. Miss Edison, is it true you won't secretly dose the members of your study group with a pharmaceutical amphetamine? Uh-huh. Oh, uh, I guess kind of. What? It sounds worse on paper than it was. We were cramming for the anthro final. Everyone was falling asleep. I put five milligrams of something something in your coffees and we all got an A. Done. I'm a bad person for tracking your location, but you altered my brain chemistry. I was up for three days that week. I invented an entire language, you flitz barping gits gorg. I'm sorry. You mess with my brain. That's a big deal. This is a big deal. I don't mess with your brain, Annie. You kind of do. I don't think I do. What about her Facebook boyfriend? What? That's different. You made a profile for a fake dude and lured her into an online relationship. He's catfishing you. Your Olympic pole vaulting hopeful Brent Underjaw? I noticed whenever you were in a relationship, you hummed a lot and made pancakes in the morning. It wasn't about hurting you. I did what I did in the name of breakfast. I bore my soul to you. I told 
told you about my holding hands at Disneyland fantasy. Do you care about people at all, Abed? Answer on the polygraph. Hey, I like need you to save the pelicans. They're all feathery and pelicany. I love them. <gasps> Thank you. Wow, it really is easy to raise money when you sell out your gender. I'm sure it's even easier when you're not standing next to this. Hey, jerk, you're stupid. Give me money, I know more than you. Oh, oh I don't know anything. I need boys. Saving the planet makes my back hurt. Oh, I obviously don't need guys for anything. That's why I wear stripper boots during the day and eat only celery and mustard for lunch. Oh, I never stop smiling. I never start. My sweaters keep shrinking. I get up an hour early to ever so slightly curl my hair. What the hell is going on here? Suddenly, our marriage isn't worth repairing? What? <gasps> Wait! Nigel is married? That is so Thoraxis. And your American accent isn't at all convincing. We come all this way, and, and you just leave me alone without so much as sending a text message? I am sick of it, Jeff. Nigel Winger! Can I get two more of these, please? Enough! This day has turned crazy. I'm gonna go upstairs, towel off, and pray to God that I wake up in the middle of a final for a class I didn't know I was enrolled in. <laughs> this is actually a felony. I mean, I will call the police, and you will all go to jail. Let me explain to you why you won't do that. First, he's tied up. First, you're tied up. And second, who can really be sure what happened in this apartment? Maybe you attacked one of us. Oh, really? Where are the signs of struggle? Oh, you were full of scotch when things took a dark turn. We'd all heard about your troubles with co-eds back at Oxford, but it was becoming <clears throat> all too real. As you lumbered around the room, we had to assume you were coming after me or Britta. Uh, uh, uh. Or Shirley, who I didn't mention earlier because she intimidates you sexually. Thank you. All right. Uh, I gotta go get ready. Troy, wait! I have to tell you. I... My appendix is bursting. What? Yeah. Yeah. My appendix is bursting. Oh! Oh, oh no. <laughs> okay. Two young students. I think I've been to this dance before. You guys are sexual partners, right? <laughs> no, no, he's my very good friend, and I have appendicitis. Oh. Thanks for bringing me here. Uh -huh. I guess I ruined your date, huh? Okay. There doesn't seem to be anything wrong with you. Cool. I'll see you. Ah! Where does it hurt? Everywhere. Oh well, I guess it would be nice. If I could be on MTV, so please, please take a look at me. Oh, the real world. Oh, I'm going to lie twice. <laughs> if that Folks, who do me you up. want shaking Joe Biden's hand at 5 p.m.? Me or... Shut up! I was like 19! We've all been 19, Jeff. And none of us did this. None of us. Pop, pop. I hate you. I hate this school. And I hope you all get black mold poisoning. Ah, ah, Jeffrey, no. I hate you. No, Jeffrey, no. You don't have to have Jeffrey, Jeffrey, Jeffrey. Fuck it, the dumb counts, Inspector. We're too late. Randy, Roll guns. Randy, Randy, Randy. Our quanta blasters are useless against their armor. We're as cooked as Lord Nelson's mutton, we are. Not if I can help it. I'll see you on the other side, Inspector. Wherever that is. Don't you mean, whenever that is? Take that, blowgun scum! You'll blowgun me for this later. Oh, 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 hey! Oh, oh my god! Abed! I'm so sorry! No, no, you're committing. This is good stuff. Thanks. Give me some more time and a dream. Give me 